a nice conversation uh, with Marta, mainly on many aspects. I mean, Brightline is about taking ideas and converting ideas into reality. But before I go over, we are here at RISE, and RISE is a technology at, like um, a conference. So the question that I will have to you, Marta, is how is technology shaping football in general and more specifically for Barcelona? Thank you for having me here and thank you for this conversation. We actually believe that um, technology is, is a challenge that all of us should uh, take into account nowadays. So basically, Football Club Barcelona and its president, Jose Maria Bartomeu, believe that Barca Innovation Hub would be able to foster technology and research so that it's going to make us better as a club. Having said that, what we try to do is we try to embrace all of the startups that are related to sports to make our club better. We're more than a club, that's our slogan, and we want to become the Silicon Valley of the sports. Having said that, we're the first ever football team to encounter an innovation hub line, and that's what we're working for, to become better, to be ahead of technology and to innovate on an everyday basis to have a better performance and a better club. Thank you, thank you. And one thing that we often hear when it comes to implementing strategies or transforming organizations is the notion of a customer. They say one need to get insight from customers, one need to be aware of the customer's needs. So for a club like uh, Barcelona, how do you engage with customers? Well, as you know, um, it's easy to have funds at Football Club Barcelona. We have the best players worldwide. We have Messi, Piquet, Suarez. So basically, fans are very much engaged. We have 300 million followers. 40%, by the way, are here in Asia, which is um, amazing because what we try to do is we try to embrace through social networks. Nowadays, we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram. So all of them are becoming followers of a club that although is local, acts globally. So we try to embrace those fans and those followers by approaching ourselves through social networks. And we believe we're doing a really good job because we're incrementing those numbers uh, every day. Excellent. And you say local acting globally. This is quite interesting. And when you look at, of course, organizations as well, they do have competitions, right? You have competition, maybe in your case in Spain. You'll have competition in Europe and you have a competition also globally, right? So how does a team like uh, Barcelona cope well, with that competition? Uh, yes, football is very competitive. Um, you know there are clubs that um, have resources from elsewhere. Uh, you have magnates and, and investment funds that support uh, football clubs. In our case, we're owned by our uh, members and that makes it a little bit harder in terms of being competitive because of our revenue. But still, we are on everyday basis trying to be on that championship. It's not only about results, it's also about how we change society and how we make it happen. So it is a competitive world, it is difficult, but we're there and we're trying to be better and we're trying to launch our values of excellence and humility everywhere so that we can follow up on all those new trends and technology is one of those trends that makes us better as a club. Thank you. And one thing that I want to explore more, Marta, you know, when you talk about, when you look at a club like also Barcelona, of course, when you say Barcelona, what people see is the players. Messi, they think about Piqué, they may think about Luis Suarez, but beyond the players, there are the people within Barcelona that are helping the organization move forward. So what is the role of people within the club to help Barcelona implement the strategy and be the best it could? So the strategy is about values. So Football Club Barcelona is more than a club because we try to set up the emotion of becoming a club that is a referral when it comes to humility, when it comes to excellence, when it comes to team building, to hardworking, 
Um, so basically, what we're doing is we're embracing all of those people that believe in Barca and we're working together to make it happen. So when you're asking me, is it about those players? No, it's about everybody else. And I'd like to point out that we have five professional teams and nine amateurs teams. So that makes it over 2,100 athletes whom we're working for. And when it comes to Barca Innovation Hub, our testings go not only to those number one players, which is very good, but also to the rest of those 2,100 athletes that are making it happen. Excellent. And uh, one thing that I want also to, to explore, of course, as people are talking about technology, you'll hear about AI, machine learning, blockchain, I mean, VR, augmented reality, how, when you look at all these technologies, is there one that you feel will disrupt football? Well, definitely 5G is something that is disrupting um, already the way we see football and, and the way stadiums are. So we're implementing as, as first Europeans a 5G in our stadium that's going to be able to make you be there, uh, virtual visits. Uh, we have. 5 million visitors a year in, in our stadium. So the fact that you're going to be able to do that virtually speaking from elsewhere because of that technology is definitely making a difference. So I think that technology will make a disruption the minute 5G is implemented everywhere else. Quite interesting. I, I, I love the stadium, actually. I, I was there last year uh, looking at the stadium. Quite a nice stadium. It's, it's a very nice stadium. Thank you very much. Right. One, one thing that we want to also look at uh, is, of course, if there is one skill, one skill that you need to, you think that teams need to implement strategy when it comes to disruptions or when it comes to digital technology, what is that one skill that teams need? Um, I think we need to be flexible. I need the skill of like excellence, the skill of humility, which is already being processed within our club goes together hand by hand with flexibility because the minute you have players and athletes where for example our best to record data and the tracking system and the analytics they're being flexible to play better but also to make society better if we didn't have the flexibility capacity of our coaches and our teams to work together with those startups we wouldn't be able to innovate so it's not about only technology 5g it's not only about winning which it is but it's also about being flexible and embracing the change wonderful Mata. Thank you for your time. Thank Very you. Much appreciate Thank it. you. Thank you to you all.